Greetings. Welcome to Conversations with Nicole. I am Nicole Everett, your host. And Conversations with Nicole is a talk show based in Tallahassee, Florida, focused on connecting the community through conversations. And today is part two in our Fair Housing series. April is Fair Housing Month. And each Monday evening, early evening, we are highlighting different aspects of fair housing. And so today we are talking about housing opportunities, housing opportunities as part of our fair housing series. And my very special guest is Ms. Karen Miller, the executive director of the Tallahassee Lenders Consortium, a person that I hold near and dear to my heart and also an organization that I hold near and dear to my heart, having served there for yeah, about 15 years, actually. And so um, I am super excited and delighted to have Karen on. And I know this is a little bit earlier than normal. But for those of you who are watching, we are live on Facebook and on YouTube. Tag a friend and let them know they need to be on here. Uh, we had Dante Bonner with the Florida Commission on Human Relations on last Monday. And he talked about the Fair Housing Act, what it does, who it covers, and some of the things that he has been seeing um, in more recent times as it relates to the Fair Housing Act. So you definitely, if you missed that, need to go back and check it out because he was dropping gems and giving us a whole lot of information that we you may not be aware of. But we want to focus on the opportunities today. You know, there, there are some negatives as it relates to housing discrimination and that sort of thing. But today we want to take a more optimistic and positive spin on things by looking at the opportunity. So I've had several folks talk to me most recently and say, you know, I want to buy a house, you know, and now I guess since I'm in the habitat space and they see me out here promoting housing and home ownership. So we're going to run down the whole list and you don't have to live in Tallahassee, in the Tallahassee area in order to take advantage of some of the things that will be mentioned here today. So I am going to, again, share um, Karen's bio, but again, we want to hear from you. So let us know in the comments where you're tuning in from. And if you're replaying this, put your city and state in the comment as well, because we will Go back and uh, give you a shout out or a like and comment on your your uh, your reply. But I want to share some of Karen's bio before um, I bring her on. Karen Butler Miller is a native Floridian, originally from Orlando, Florida, Old Town. She moved to Tallahassee in 2008. She has had a span of a 30-year career working with at-risk youth and their families. For 19 of those years, she was the director of the Osceola Children's Home, where she worked specifically with at with victims of abuse and neglect. During her tenure as director, she had oversight over 24 hour, a 24-hour operation with 42 staff and 42 teenagers. She graduated um, from the University of Central Florida with a BA in criminal justice and a master's degree in organizational management from the University of Phoenix. Working with TLC is her second career, she calls it. 
She started as the Home Ownership Center Manager and is now the Chief Executive Officer responsible for this wonderful nonprofit that provides home buyer education, financial literacy, one-on-one -on -one credit counseling, reverse mortgage, and foreclosure prevention counseling, as well as development of single family homes and townhomes. TLC is moving into the affordable multifamily rental and is currently serving the city of Tallahassee and Leon County's Community Land Trust. She is also involved in neighborhood revitalization and leadership through community building and engagement. Uh, she also, outside of her professional life, she is part of the Paul Russell Road Church of God, Church of Christ, and very involved in her sorority, Delta Kappa Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. And she also um, serves as the uh, executive director of the De Delta Kappa Omega Foundation. She's married to Charles, and she has three children and five grandchildren. So y'all help me welcome Miss Karen Miller. Yay. <laughs> I know you hold TLC near and dear to your heart, but I hold you near and dear to my heart because... You are responsible for my first training that I received at the Tallahassee Lenders Consortium. So I will never forget that because you helped me prepare me for something that I honestly almost had no knowledge about. That's okay. But you had those skills that were transferable that has helped to, to carry TLC on and look, to celebrate it. How many years recently? Oh, 30 years. Mm -hmm. It was our 30th year anniversary. Yes, and that is something to absolutely be proud of and applaud. So thank you for carrying the torch to this great organization and for helping many, many, many households, including my own, um, <laughs> obtain the, the title of first-time homebuyer. So mm -hmm. thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to ask you, as I do all my guests, who is Karen Miller? I know I just read your bio, just some of the things that you do, but who is Karen Miller in her own words? Not what does she do, but who are you? When I think about me, I think about all I ever want to do is help people. Uh, and I think that was something that I got from my parents because they set the example all of my childhood. And I have a brother and sister, and we are all kind of in that realm of helping people throughout our lives. And it doesn't matter if it's professionally or if it's just something that we see someone that needs help. So I just call myself the helper. All right. I love the helper. <laughs> Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. All right. So I see uh, this is uh, the fan, which I think is tan, maybe, uh, is on here. So thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. So listen, this is an interactive live, y'all. So and our topic is housing opportunities. So we're going to really dive into these opportunities. So again, tag someone like, tag, share, let them know they need to be on here because this is going to be a great conversation. And again, while you know we are based in Tallahassee, this some of this information that will be shared can apply throughout the state of Florida or even outside of the state because many of the programs that we'll be talking about there are probably similar uh, or parallel um programs in the communities that you may be in. Okay. All right. So where do we want to start? Wow. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's so important what you just said. And the reason for that is on this past Saturday, Leon County had a housing expo, lots of information. People were coming through and we were sharing so much. Tom with WFSU Radio came over and he said, Karen, give me a spiel. And I did. And he said, you know, I love TLC. I'm trying to get my daughter to mm -hmm. find a place just like you all in Fulton County, Georgia. And I told him, I said, tell her 
to go to the HUD website, mm -hmm. go to her state and find the uh, agency that was nearest her city. Yes. And I explained to him, I said, some of these agencies serve more than one county, more than one city, yeah. and we all have similar programs. Mm -hmm. So I would advise anybody in the United States and Puerto Rico to do that, to go to the HUD website if you're looking for a similar program that can assist you with purchasing a home, especially your first home. Yes. All right. So y'all heard it right here. So I think a good place to start would be with TLC. Okay. All right. Well, um, you heard us, I mean, 30 years of service and the creation of TLC started with the city of Tallahassee, Leon County, and it started with lenders in the community. And at that time, all the way back in 1993, there was an issue with affordable housing. And here we are in 2024, still talking about it. All so right. things change. And as things change, you need someone who can assist and guide you through these processes. So the one thing that I love about TLC is the education. It is it is the greatest for trying to help people, number one, know what housing opportunities are out there, mm -hmm. what down payment assistance programs are there, uh, just the information about wanting to buy a house. Yes. And then, of course, the first thing that people think is my credit's not good enough. Well, we don't care. That's the other reason that we, we are here, because we have home ownership specialists that can work with you to help get your credit in order, mm -hmm. to give you direction, uh, to give you some guidance. And we even have little templates ready to assist you should you need to write someone to say, well, that's not me. That shouldn't be on my credit report. Right. And from there, we provide home buyer education, which is an eight hour certification class where we take you through the entire process of purchasing the home. Mm -hmm. So why you have a realtor, why you have a lender. We even include the health department, the property appraiser's office, insurance, security. All of these things are so important when it comes to the process. I remember when I bought my first house, I don't didn't know half of the things that I've learned since I've been at TLC. So I even find the information valuable now so that I can pass it on. And whether it's your first time home buyer or second, learning the process itself and helping you understand why you need the information that you need is just extremely valuable to every human being. Yes. Along with that, Nicole, we do monthly financial fitness classes. Mm -hmm. We have different topics. It can be budgeting, investing. We can talk about credit cards, interest. It's trying to help us understand our financial status, our wealth, where yep. we are, why it's important. So those are just a few things that we do on the educational side. Mm -hmm. And lately, we have become... Uh, affordable housing developers okay. we are working with contractors to build homes mm -hmm. that uh, add to the inventory in Tallahassee that can help our clients that are low to moderate income be able to purchase a home within their financial means. Yes. No, that's good. Um, I think, too, you know, you mentioned the financial um, literacy, you mentioned the home by education. Um, and I don't know, are you all still doing orientations? Oh, yeah, we call that our home buyer readiness class. Home readiness. Okay. And, and that's where we try to give them all the information about the opportunities, the down payment assistance program. And even though we process the city and mm -hmm. the county's down payment assistance program, we tell them about Florida Housing Finance Corporation. Okay. You know, they provide down payment assistance anywhere in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, we talk about Excambia Bond Program. For our opportunities, we talk about Habitat for Humanity. Uh -huh. You know, that's a big plus to the uh, housing, the affordable housing uh, mantra. Yeah. Um, 
you know, so it's trying to give them information because I always believe there's something for everybody. There is, there is. So I'm a poll of yours. Uh, the fan is the only one that's commented thus far, but I see that uh, there are others out there that may be just a little shy. Uh, I want to know, are you, any of you out there in the market to purchase a home? Let us know in the comments if you don't mind. Again, this is a safe space for you to comment and communicate. Is anybody in the market for looking for a home? And if so, um, how, or have there been any barriers, I guess, to entry? And what might those have been? What might those be? Um, it could be credit. It could be the cost of housing. It could be, um, you know, location. It could it could be a number of things. Maybe, you know, your, your preference for a particular style of house that you can't find. So let us know in the comments if you don't mind. But we'll continue talking. So... You mentioned Florida Housing Finance. You mentioned Escambia. You mentioned Habitat. And mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go back over these in a little more detail so folks will, you know, kind of have an idea of some of the other things that are out there. Um, what about uh, rural development? Oh, USDA, which is a government program. And again, there are areas in Leon County that are designated for uh, USDA mm -hmm. loans, uh, just as they there are in Wakulla, Gaston, and Jefferson counties in some of the rural communities. And some of our lenders that work closely with us, they do USDA loans, but depending on, and I heard a lender say this on Saturday, sometimes it's best to go directly to USDA to mm -hmm. see if you meet the requirements that you might do a direct loan. But can you imagine a hundred percent financing? And so a lot of times, again, if people don't know the information, they don't know to go and try to find out and reach out to find out additional information as to what the requirements are and whether they qualify for the program. But USDA is a great program. Mm hmm. OK, well, I just wanted to, you know, throw that out there because, again, people may think there aren't any options in the, the rural area for, you know, financing. But that that program specifically serves people in the rural areas. It is. And a lot of times people think because TLC is in Tallahassee or we process the city and the county's down payment program, what they don't understand is all of the other services that we provide mm -hmm. can be provided to people in Gaston County, in Wakulla County, in Jefferson County. Yes. Uh, that's really important for them to know because the process of home ownership is about the same everywhere. You mm -hmm. know, the realtor, the lender, um, the property appraiser's office, knowing about taxes and understanding all of that. So those services can't, they can still call TLC for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's good to know. I see Miss Brittany has just joined us. Thank you for being here, Brittany. And the fan said, not in the market, but here for the information. And that's all good because you can share what you um, learn or glean tonight with somebody that may need it. So again, thank you for being here. All right. So you talked about the education. You talked a little bit about the programs, which we'll circle back to in a minute. Any other benefits for TLC? Any other oh, opportunities? Absolutely. If you are already a homeowner, mm -hmm. we provide services there too. First of all, Wealth building is important. Mm -hmm. And I always ask people that are homeowners, when you get a raise, what do you do with that extra money? Mm -hmm. And sometimes I ask them, do you know how to budget that additional dollar? And most people will say, well, I don't think about it. You can come into TLC. You can sit down with us. We can go over your budget. We can talk about this additional budget. Or sometimes when we get less money, which we don't necessarily want to talk about, right. we can still sit down with you and help you understand how your dollars can best benefit you. Okay. And I think that's, we call that our quote unquote budget counselor. Okay. 
The other thing is that you know that we've just been in an environment with the pandemic where people lost jobs, mm -hmm. um, people lost income. Yeah. And so TLC provides foreclosure prevention mm -hmm. or intervention services. Yes. I tell everybody, if you think you can't pay your budget, your mortgage rather, next month, call us. Mm. Okay. Don't wait until you're two, three, four months behind. Call us mm -hmm. so that we can sit down, see what the hardship is, and see if we can work with you and your servicer of your loan. Yes. We have a home ownership specialist who is really good and has been successful with working with homeowners so they don't lose their homes. Mm -hmm. And that's just as important as purchasing. I think about it. You've sacrificed everything to purchase this home. Yeah. You've been in it for a number of years. You don't want to lose it. Mm -hmm. Don't wait till the last minute when you're before court or you're you're looking at, I don't have the dollars. Please call us in advance if you think you might not be able to do that. And then the federal government has a requirement I know everybody sees Tom Selleck on TV talking about those reverse mortgages. Mm -hmm. reverse, and some people scream and holler and say, oh, that's not good. Some people say, oh, that's great. Well, what TLC does is the government requires that anybody that goes for a reverse mortgage yeah. needs to get the factual information about them. Mm -hmm. TLC provides that counseling. Yes. Every lender in the state of Florida that does reverse mortgage, they have our name on a list and you can call for the counseling to get the facts. Mm -hmm. We don't tell you whether to get the loan or not. We just give you the facts to help you make the best decision for you and your household. Indeed, indeed. All right. I'm going to pause you for one moment because we got some more <laughs> folks that have joined us. Uh, Brittany was giving you a compliment. She said, I saw her this past Saturday at the Home Expo. Such a beautiful person. Nice. All right. My mom is here. Thank you for being here, Ma. And we got Mr. Detroit Live. Great info. I needed this. Yes, he's one of the ones that asked me about purchasing a home. All right. Great. Thank you for being here, Detroit. Okay, Leticia. Hello. My daughter is looking to buy not enough money, not enough income by herself. Okay, we'll we'll address that a little bit later. So just hold on, Leticia. Uh Tommy B wants to know, can you speak on the homeowners insurance options outside of Florida's insurer of last resort? Okay. All right. So you want to you did you want, you want me to attempt that one? <laughs> to try to attempt some of that. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. What impacts homeowners impacts TLC as well. Um, we recently built a paired home over on Ridge Road. And as we do performance trying to get quotes on how much everything is going to cost, even the supplies, we have to do the same for insurance. And our insurance came in much higher than we anticipated. And so I'm feeling exactly what homeowners are feeling right now. Uh, there is a division of the Department of Financial Services, and it's the Division of Insurance. Uh, and I can, we can get you that information, that contact information, and they do give you great information and assistance on insurance. Um, I know that the, the insurance of last resort right now is citizens. We still have... Uh, companies leaving the state of Florida. We have uh, fraud still going on in the state of Florida that causes the rates to get higher. My personal insurance, homeowner's insurance, it was raised $500 last year and was raised $900 this year. So I feel you. I really feel you. So um, the only thing that I would tell everybody is to contact uh, this division in financial services uh, and see what information you can get. But I tell everybody, get quotes. Um, we've had 
homeowners who've had inspections and they come back three months later and says, uh, my insurance is canceling because they said I need a new roof. Mm -hmm. Well, the government heard about this, the legislature, and they made it a rule. I want to think within the last two years that mm -hmm. if someone approaches you, your insurance company says you need a new roof, you have the right to have an inspection of that roof. And, if the, and that inspection must tell you the amount of time you have left on that roof. And then if you turn that into your insurance company, they must accept it. Now, I will tell you, they will try to get a little bit of rings around it, but mm -hmm. you have to you have to fight for yourself. You really do. Yeah. And um, and this division of uh, this department in the division of uh, financial services, they will give you a lot of great information that will assist you in trying to hunt down good insurance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for tackling that. I know um, insurance has really been a major, major concern for folks, not only, uh, f you know, people that are interested mm -hmm. in purchasing a home, but also folks that are current homeowners, because as you said, the prices have increased so much. And with insurance carriers leaving the state, it just is challenging. It's challenging. Mm -hmm. So you know, as Karen has said, like ask for quotes, um, reach out to that division and, and we'll try to get you some more information on that. And I'm really trying to get somebody to come on and talk about the insurance piece on one of these Monday nights. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a work on that um, before the month of April is out because that is really a a very um, you know it's a sticking point for for folks. You know, Nicole, I I was in Washington D.C. last week, mm -hmm. and prior to that visit, I had always heard just doing my research that Florida was the highest state in the United States with insurance costs. Oh, wow. Last week, I learned we got one more than us now, and that's Oklahoma. And it had, you know, <clears throat> I know, blew me, yeah, and it's the tornado oh. going on. But yeah. last week, we had a storm of rain that we did not anticipate the number of inches in a short period of time. Mm. And we saw the flooding. And I know as I see homeowners purchase, one of the things that we have to look at is whether their lots are in flood zones. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I it, it was a little scary to me to see what the flooding has done. Yeah. But uh, the insurance presentation on Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, a lady said, I don't live in a flood zone, she said, but my yard is full of water. Do I need to get flood insurance? And the presenter said, you live in Florida? Yes. Mm -hmm. So there may be, they are giving out probably different information that we've heard in the past. Indeed. So that's, I, I, I will help it all possible if we can get them on your show because they are such a valuable tool right now to okay. people that are purchasing and homeowners. Got it. All right. We got a, four, a couple of folks joining us. Mr. Sir, which I think is Dar, he said four times the national average. Ooh, that's high. Thank that you for sharing that. My sister Shayla is on. Thank you for being here, Shay. And Mr. Dante Bonner. Hey, Dante. I guess <laughs> last week and with the Florida mm -hmm. Commission on Human Relations is on. And he also added that maybe Tasha Carter or Denise that's who it is. with the Department of Insurance would be great guests to speak on that. So, Dante, I will circle back with you to see if you can connect me with them and, and we can make that happen. So we are almost at about halfway through our talk. So for those of you who are just tuning in, I am on with the executive director of the Tallahassee Lenders Consortium, also known as TLC. And we are talking housing opportunities. April is Fair Housing Month. And Part of our fair housing series or the fair housing series that I'm doing in conjunction with the city of Tallahassee and the folks, the fair housing, the city of Tallahassee fair housing committee is what I call the folks that put on <laughs> fair housing events. Um, we are doing a series of talks on fair housing. Again, last Monday we had Dante Bonner on speaking on 
the Fair Housing Act specifically and um, all of what it, that entails. But this week we are talking housing opportunities uh, with Karen Miller. And we've already talked about TLC, um, started talking about TLC, the education that's provided, the counseling, some of the programs that are mentioned at the Home Buyer Readiness uh, orientation that they do, um, but also, you know, about this insurance piece. So I um, I want to also mention that part of, you know, again, why we're doing this is to kind of lead up to next Tuesday's event, which yes. is on the 23rd of April. And <clears throat> Karen, I'm gonna let you tell them. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you, I love it. We are having fair housing. I call it the morning and the beginning of the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But we are inviting the public to come out. Uh, it's February the 23rd. The uh, workshops start at 9 o'clock. There is going to be a keynote speaker. But we are having workshops on uh, credit, of course, fair housing. And let me just say kudos to Dante because um, even though TLC teaches the process, we also teach fair housing and we talk about it because we feel like everybody should know their rights. And that's why this is so important. So I can't wait till next Tuesday for everyone to come out and hear information. I think there's gonna be an insurance part of that as well. And it's gonna be held at the Park View uh, uh, if you know the hotel out by Cascades Park, right behind it is a city-owned facility called the Park View, and it's going to be there starting at, uh, at 9 o'clock. And we have uh, realtors coming to talk about fair housing and home purchase from a realtor's point of view. So uh, I got a team of people that's coming to talk about home purchase, down payment assistance, as well as the lender coming to talk about what a lender wants to see when you're purchasing a home. So come on out public, spend some time and get additional information. We really look forward to seeing you all. Yes. All right. So, and that event is absolutely free. So yeah. you want to make sure if you can stop by, this will um, enlighten you again. There'll be folks that are involved in all aspects of the um, fair housing, uh, you know, issues from insurance to ownership to, you know, mm -hmm. everything. So you definitely want to come out and, and take advantage of that. I see Miss Hope Gaines has joined us. She said, I love TLC. They definitely educate potential homeowners about all facets of home ownership, home inspections, contracts, obtain your home, lender information, and closing information. Thank you for joining us, Hope. She's a realtor here in Tallahassee. Yes, yes, yes. All right, Dante, say, Karen, talk about what the typical challenges the buyer is dealing with in purchasing a home. Okay. I will tell you several. The, the easiest to overcome are credit scores. Uh, people automatically assume they don't have the credit score to purchase. Mm -hmm. And that's not necessarily true. And if you don't have the credit score, that's what TLC is there for. That's part of the counseling that we provide. We bring you in. And what we do is we ask you for pay stubs, bank statements. We ask you for a budget, your current budget. And we work with you. We have the home ownership specialist to work with you to assist you on what you need to do to get your credit in order. If your credit is in order, what your affordability is based upon the income, how much house can you afford to buy? And then we talk about the lenders again, the the home inspectors, the realtors. We talk to you about all of these things that are part of the process and answer any personal questions that you might have in your confidential personal uh, counseling session. That's number one. The average credit score uh, will be about 620 to 640. Some banks will do a 580. However, 
to get into the city's down payment assistance program and the county's down payment assistance program, you must have at least a minimum of a 600 credit score. Please know the better the, the credit score, the better the interest rate on the loan. Secondly is uh, interest rates right now. We know that we've seen them go from, we prior to COVID, we were seeing 2%, 3%, and now what? We're between 6.5 and 7%. And um, there are national stories all over the United States. You're hearing on the news, you're hearing everything. I say, try to get your local community information because Again, what's going on in your local community, you may be able to find a home. There may be a special program that has a lower interest rate. Check out the down payment assistance programs uh, that might be available to you because um, they change. And for instance, right now, the city of Tallahassee gives you up to 20% of the purchase price of a home for down payment assistance and closing costs. So prior to 2021, we used to see checks for $7,000, $10,000 for down payment assistance. We're seeing checks anywhere from 15,000, 20, 25, 30. It has to be justified, but at the same time, to up to 20% of the purchase price of the home. And it's forgivable once you live in the home for 15 years. So we know that housing costs are rising, but there are programs in place to assist that. You heard Nicole introduce TLC as the city of Tallahassee and Leon County's Community Land Trust. This was a program that was earlier devised in 2019. However, we have gone through certification and training. And let me just give you an example of what the land trust does. Our first home, the, the county donated the land. So TLC didn't have to buy the land. They donated the land. TLC built the home. The um, city gave TLC construction subsidy to assist in building the home. So when we finished the home, the home appraised at $264,000. The land appraised at $30,000. So in the community land trust, we took the price of the land out of the price of the home. So $234,000. We added $50,000 in construction subsidy. So because that subsidy came from the city of Tallahassee, it bought the price down to $184,000. Well, guess what? The home buyer, because of their area medium income being under 80%, that still allowed them to get down payment assistance, which is provided by the city of Tallahassee. So they got $36,000. $800 in down payment assistance uh, and closing costs. Again, we only have certain lenders that do the DP, that do the community land trust. So the lender gave the homeowner another $10,000 grant on top of all of that. Wow. So it made the home affordable. And what, what happens, and so people will understand you own the structure in the land trust. TLC owns the land and we charge you $25 a month for the rental of the land. Now, mm -hmm. our goal is to uh, work with that homeowner on wealth building, getting your legal affairs in order, everything under the sun, because what we want you to do is go purchase a home fee simple where you own the land and the house, but we want you to sell it back to somebody that's just starting out in home ownership and couldn't afford to go out and buy a $264,000 home. Right. So that's the community land trust and that's the affordability part. All right. Um, that. Nicole. Yes. 
that is a huge affordable housing program. Mm -hmm. Again, we are partners with Habitat because we provide all of their counseling. But yeah. again, making sure they have the the um, the income, but also making sure that um, Habitat can build a home cheaper than anybody, and it's done with volunteer labor. Yes, and the homeowner, <laughs> potential homeowner, working yeah. at home. So these these things that people consider barriers, they aren't really barriers in our local community. They, they may become a little challenging because the market changes, but we have realtors that only want to work with first time home buyers. We have lenders that have additional grants that they add on to home buying, even in buying fee simple. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, I'll just add since I'm. Go ahead. Give it to I'm, a, I'm a Habitat employee <laughs> that. Um, we, so with Habitat, you have to have a housing need, uh, which means mm -hmm. that you either, you, the structure of your housing is not, uh, stable or, um, is dilapidated. You have a safety need, maybe the housing that you, the, the area that you, you're staying in is not safe, or you are, um, house cost burden, meaning that more than 30% of your um, mm -hmm. monthly income is going towards housing. And so that's really all that's necessary for the housing need part. Now, yes, you must be a first time home buyer. Yes, you must live in, in, um, in Leon or Gaston County. And you um, also must meet our income guidelines, which is based on the area median income. And we actually have a floor, meaning you can't go below a certain amount, and that's below 30% of the area median income. And we have a ceiling, meaning you can't go above 80% of the area median income. So if you fall between 30 and 80, you're good income-wise. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, as Karen mentioned, we do have our home buyers or partner home home uh, potential partner home buyers uh, do sweat equity hours. Four hundred hours are required. Two hundred are administrative. One hundred on helping to build someone else's home, and one hundred on building your own. And you can get friends and family to assist you with that. And most of our home buyers, their monthly payment is around between maybe four hundred and five hundred dollars. Four five fifty, I'd say, and so it's a zero percent interest loan. It is a loan, uh, and so what they'll be paying over that thirty year period is principal, taxes, and insurance. What more can you ask for? Mm -hmm. And and you said something really important: zero interest loan. The city of Tallahassee and Leon County's down payment assistance is a zero interest loan. Yep. I keep adding Leon County because they're opening up their down payment assistance program, hopefully during this month. I'm waiting to hear what funds they will have, which means it's out, it's in uh, not in the city limits. It's actually in the county that someone will be able to purchase a home. Yes. Uh, we got to bring up the fact that the city of Tallahassee has what they call infill homes right now. Mm -hmm. And you can be a hundred percent area median income. And if you want to know more information about that, just contact TLC. We know about that. These homes are located over on Dunn street. Okay. Uh, Premier home is doing inclusionary housing. Um, again, we have bolus that's doing. So we have a number of folks and we think we can hit the spectrum from one end to the other. Um, and it's knowing the information that helps the community know where to go and what to do uh, as far as gathering information that's going to be best for them and their households. Indeed. All right. The fan said, what's $500 in Miami money? <laughs> Probably at <add> zero. <laughs> a couple of years ago, in Miami, they were actually doing down payment assistance at a hundred thousand dollars, and that was not even helping people purchase homes. 
Listen, so if they was doing down payment for a hundred thousand and our I'll tell you what our partner cost is in terms of sponsorship of a habitat home is eighty five thousand. Right. So, so figure that out. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, again, people cannot forget about USDA. Mm -hmm. Again, a hundred percent financing. Um even if they need the money for closing costs on a USDA loan and they're in Leon County, the county was paying for the closing costs for mm -hmm. USDA loans. So, you know, um, there's there are people here to help. You know, that goes back to that helping thing, Nicole, but there are. And uh, we have we have a team here at TLC that bring a level of experience that you would not believe. So, um, you know, we just tell you all to reach out to us. I know she, Nicole has been running a banner with our contact number, even my direct line number, and I do return calls, but the main number, office number as well. And um, let me just tell you, Nicole, we do have another program right now for homeowners. Okay. Uh, you know, because of that environment and everybody was losing their homes, mm -hmm. um, we had been providing counseling. Now we are providing an outreach class. Okay. It's an hour, hour and 15 minutes. There's an application that they have to complete. Mm -hmm. If they sit, sit through the class, there is a gift card incentive for attending. And right. we're going over items that will help you not lose your home. Be dealing with foreclosure from the taxes to security, to crime, to uh, dealing with maintenance, everything that would help a current homeowner. We go over it in that class. And if anybody is interested, they're trying to have, a ver and it's virtual, they're trying to have a virtual class this Thursday night. All they have to do is call TLC and we can get them signed up for that. But it's really important that we help continue to help our homeowners once they become part of the TLC family. We don't want you to just uh, come and purchase a home and we say goodbye. We don't do that. You are part of the family. That's it. That's it. That's it. I love it. All right. So any questions, any questions, any questions? My sister's laughing. She said, man, Miami money. Yes. Yeah. So y'all need to just move to the city. That's all. You get more, more bang for your buck. Absolutely. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Y'all can stay there. You probably, <laughs> I'm sure that they have some, some programs. And, you know, Miami has a number of, well, let me say, Dade County has a number of cities within the county mm -hmm. And there are, you know, some of those cities get allocations of SHIP dollars. SHIP stands for State Housing Initiative Partnership. So, for instance, the city of Miami Gardens gets a SHIP allocation. Um, North Miami Beach or North Miami or, my, you know, the city of Miami proper gets, you know, assistance money. So you want to check and to see what the equivalent is um, in your area so the fan is saying yes who's the equivalent of tlc in south florida area there are 12 uh equi well there are 11 equivalent agencies to tlc in the state of florida contact me i'll be happy to give you the name of the agency and the contact but i want to think there are two agencies that handle um uh day county and also know this some of these agencies just don't do home ownership they do a affordable rental as well. And that's really important if you have just been paying through the top to the roof mm -hmm. for a rental. You may want to check out some of their apartments as well. For sure. All right. We got Ms. Sheikah on with us. Thank you for being here, Sheikah. She said great information. Hi, right. Sheikah. Yes. And um, Angela, I mean, Hope, sorry. Hope mm -hmm. said, can you talk about who is considered a first time home buyer? Yes, ma'am. OK. Everybody thinks a first time home buyer is somebody who's just buying a house for the first time. But if you have not purchased a home, <clears throat> excuse me, within the last three years, you can come through as a first time home buyer. However, if they're 
unfortunately, sometimes we have domestic violence situations and you have had to leave your home through a domestic violence situation. Mm -hmm. If you have documentation of that, you can immediately become a first time home buyer. Mm. So I want to keep that in mind, but those three years, that's really important. And uh, again, if you've never purchased a home before, the other thing that um, homeowners, current homeowners, and you're looking at purchasing a home, um, some programs, you don't have to be a first time home buyer. You can check and see if I check second time home buyer. I think Excambia bond program, which is a type of funding, mm -hmm. you don't have to be a first time home buyer there. So you may want to ask the right questions yeah. uh, if you're interested in purchasing a home and you already own the one. Mm -hmm. My sister had a question since she's a teacher. She wanted to know, is there, are there any assistance programs for teachers? Uh, let me tell you, everybody's talking about the workforce. So wherever you hear workforce housing, everybody, is, they are talking about teachers and firemen and police officers and all of that. As a matter of fact, I know you heard about Hometown Heroes. My understanding is they're coming back with some additional funding in July. So um, look for that and be the first ones to grab it. Because what happens to all of our programs is people go out and they start grabbing the dollars and then we don't have enough to carry us through the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, please, July, Hometown Heroes, they're going to have some additional funding. All right. So and check locally too, because a lot of people at the meeting last week where I attended, those 11 other neighbor work agencies, they were talking workforce housing too. All right. So she's in Broward County. So definitely check with the Broward County folks, um, yeah. either neighbor works organization or her agencies. Some of you who may have joined on with us later, uh, Karen mentioned that if you want to see or, or identify uh, agencies comparable to Tallahassee Lenders Consortium, you can go to HUD.gov and click on the state and you can um, identify other HUD counseling agencies in your area. All right. All right. Uh, Sheikah said, hiya. <laughs> and mom said, most important information. Yes, mom. We're trying to get the information to the peoples, trying to tell the peoples. Yes. Now, Nicole, I my team would kill me if I don't do this. Uh-oh, what you got? Right now, on Ridge Road, I have a paired townhome. Three bedrooms, two baths, mm -hmm. $160,000. What? 1,200 square feet. Let me tell you, that does not include if you're 80% Area medium income and under, you can get down payment assistance. Mm. I, by the end of the month, I will have a single family home on Eastwood, which is 3-2. We are beginning to build two more uh, paired homes on Birmingham. Uh, we're trying to keep that price at 160 also. Mm. So please, these are community land trust homes. Remember, you got to rent the land, but come on, guys, we waste 25 to 40 dollars a month. Uh, you know, when I heard a Starbucks coffee price the other day, I was like, look, look, look. You know, we have to think that housing is important. It we is. Cannot, we cannot, it is an investment in yourself, in mm -hmm. your family. You're building a legacy, it is wealth building. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. I, and we got, we're going to have some houses. Uh, we're going to break ground starting in July. Mm -hmm. uh, one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms over on Wallace and Meridian. We're doing a little community over there. Okay. So uh, this is a partnership with the city and the county. And um, come on, guys. We need buyers for all these homes. All right. All right. All right. So Miss Peachy just joined us. Thank you for being here, Peachy. And mom said, move to Tallahassee. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mama, I love it. <laughs> I think she and, would if she could. <laughs> you know, 
The other thing, those are community land trust homes, but let me share with you. TLC does other housing opportunities. We're getting ready to do paired homes on Grimes with garages. Okay. Uh, we're also doing some uh, rehabs. Uh, we just purchased a home on uh, Laurel Lee where we're gonna be doing a renovation. And we're looking for other homes and lots to build and do renovations that are not in the land trust. So, and that's where you, you'll get to own your own land. So, you know, stay in touch with us, stay on top of what we're doing because you never know what TLC is gonna bring to the forefront. All right now, so you heard it right here on Conversations with Nicole. Again, it's Fair Housing Month. We've been talking fair housing opportunities, uh, fair housing and, uh, and housing opportunities, rather. And so um, Tallahassee Lenders Consortium is a hood approved housing counseling agency, is a neighbor works organization, and is the hub for all things affordable housing in Tallahassee and in the Big Bend region. And so this has been a great conversation. Karen, I am going to give you an opportunity to give any closing remarks and tell folks how they can connect with you. Okay. Let me just say, this has been a real pleasure. And I love Nicole. Um, I listen to her show. But if you want to contact us, my direct line is 850 Seven five six seven seven two six, or you can call the front desk, and uh, Miss Sanji West will be able to help you and guide you. Eight five zero two 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 six six zero nine. Please know that we want to help you. So any housing questions that you might have, please come and see us. Sign up for the classes; they're free. Um, we have one processing fee for counseling and it's $33.50 per person. What more can you ask for? We're not asking. We will help you get your credit in order. We just want to help homeowners invest, not just in yourselves, but this helps our community as a whole also. So come to see the TLC team. We're the ones that certainly can help you. Thank you so much for having me tonight. And we look forward to working with you continuously, Nicole, but all of the um, community here in Tallahassee, Leon County, can't leave out Gaston County, Jefferson, and Wakulla. All right. Very good. Again, I want to thank you, Karen, for, for all of the great information. Uh, listen, we need to keep this conversation going. So please tag a friend, share this on your social, share this link with folks, text this link with folks that are interested in housing because there are housing opportunities. I know it may look bleak because the interest rates are going up, the cost of housing is expensive, but there are housing opportunities out there and you don't want to miss them. You really don't. They're, they're put out there for you. So take advantage of them. Karen and I will be at the Fair Housing, Big Ben Fair Housing Conference on Tuesday, April 23rd, from 8.30 to 1 p.m. at Parkview at Cascades, 414 East Bloxham Road in Tallahassee, Florida. This is absolutely free. And the whole community is invited to come out and be a part of that. So you definitely- so Aren't they live streaming that also? Uh, maybe, they might. I will ask. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will ask, I will ask. But yeah, you wanna be a part of it. Um, you know, you can get more information from TLC on that day or if you want to get information before then. But, you know, you want to be a part of these activities that are going on because they are being put on just for the community. And so, again, let's keep this conversation going. Karen, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, appreciate you. Thank you, viewers, uh, for, for tuning in, for your comments, for your questions. This was great. I see Miss Brittany said, this generational curse of lacking stops with me. I will be a first-time homebuyer. Yes, I love it. You better affirm it, Brittany. You better oh, affirm it. That's right. Claim it, baby. Claim it. Yes. <laughs> so you let us know how we can 
help you on that journey, Miss Brittany, because we want to, to to see that come to fruition, just as you have said. It. All right, the fan said this was great. Thank you, the fan. And yes, yeah. star, that was I thought that's who that was. He said thank you both for everything you do. We appreciate you. He's a realtor here in Tallahassee. Thank yeah. you. Yes. All right. So for those of you who may be new to the platform, I invite you to subscribe to Conversations with Nicole. We are live here on Mondays and Wednesdays, typically at 8.30 p.m. This Again, this is a special uh, series that we're running for Fair Housing Month. Uh, subscribe. We are here talking about mental health and wellness uh, most days, most most times. Um, but look, having a safe place to live, that is definitely part of good mental health and wellness. <laughs> all right. So it's all related. It's all related. Um, all right. Well, I'm signing off and uh, we are signing off. But again, let's keep this conversation going, y'all, because we want as many people that can afford to, to get in a house, that can afford to maintain a house. We want y'all to do it. We want y'all to have it. All right. All right. We will catch y'all later. Thank you.